Okay, let's have another amazing five minute auto pairing. So let's kick off with E4. And uh, Smith Mora Gambit is usually an interesting weapon of choice with an early F4. D4, maybe D6 is a bit vulnerable. Check. Oh, he's got that check. Is he going to win my B2 pawn as well? Uh, that would be a bit worry. Winning the B2 pawn. Ah. Uh, Rook B1. Queen A3. Ah, okay. Interesting. So Queen G3 here. Try and play for F6. If not, you find F6. Mind you, Queen B2 now. Oh, that one. I can take and then play F6. Okay, so he's got sort of backward development. I'll protect this B2 now. Although his knight on e5 is a bit of a pain, to say the least. I'm trying to eliminate it. It's the best piece. Can I do something with his king in the centre here? It's a bit blocked. Uh. <clears throat> mm, how, how does he sort out the knight? Queen c7, maybe rook c1. I'll play knight d5 later. Aha! Just wondering if there was anything clever there, I don't think so. Uh, maybe rook e1 for knight d5? Is that trying to break through the center? Knight d5? Open up some lines. Uh huh. Yeah, I think this should be good for a laugh. Trying to use his king in the centre, but this diagonal when he moves his uh, king. Um. Mm, keep the queens on, obviously. Now he's king on d8. I'm not entirely sure how I'd get to that. I just rook c1 here. Take take. Ah, or b3. If I just try and kick that away with b3 for a moment. Maybe bishop e3 and then a4 or something. Um, or a4, straight off the bat. So I'm going to a4. Where does this queen go? If it goes to a5, b4. Hang on, that's quite useful. It just goes there. So b4 here. Try and play for b5. This is interesting with his king in the sense I've got that A file now to work with. So maybe I'll come over here with rook A1. That's interesting. The A file could be the Achilles hell here. Uh, I'll attack the queen again. Now rook a8 here, I'm not sure that does anything. 
Maybe my knight should move. Or knight, what about knight b6? Knight b6 could be interesting, so I'm not actually sacrificing the knight anymore. I'm just hitting the rook and the bishop. And rook a8 could be good. This, this rank here, that pin looks quite juicy. This king's finally moved. Uh, can I just just put pressure over there? So friendly rook c takes c8 now. This looks juicy all of a sudden. That pawn on f6, these pieces not doing anything. Spectator pieces. So rook takes c8 now is threatened. <clears throat> mm, exciting. He looks to have a difficulty defending this position. I don't know how he can defend the c8 bishop. Everything seems to have converged quite rapidly. Oh, he's resigned here. Yeah, yeah. Everything reserved. Um, Converged. Everything converged quite rapidly. But um, check. Yeah. Uh, could you take on b2? That's one question. E5. E5. What's that about? Apparently, this is uh, not too bad. Less than, well, about half a pawn or more. Mm. So this position apparently is not too bad for white. I thought so with that pawn on f6. Must mean something. Now it's knight d5. Okay, the engine's saying take it, take it, take it. So maybe, maybe it was a bit speculative. Okay, it was a bit speculative. Unless the engine is changing its tune here, finding something magnificent. But I don't think so. It seems to be uh, unsound, actually. But he seems to trust me. Uh, b3. Ah, oh, that well, apparently rook b c one is good here. I wonder what the threat is. Um, so say h four. Oh right, is that c file is dangerous? Okay. But now he has given me another inroad. Oh, queen a five was also queen a five. Queen a eight is pretty direct on that um, a file. Check. This, this looks good. Rook B C one. Wow. Okay. Uh, well, this 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 was good after his. Um, yeah, Knight B six is good. Yeah, this is a disaster. Okay. Uh, comments or questions on YouTube? Thanks very much.